Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, people. Welcome to the channel. This is Hades, and I'm happy to have you along. Welcome back, everyone, to another session of Reforged Eden here on the Broken Eden server. We will be basically picking up where we left off last time, and we will see what trouble we can get into today. So, one of the plans would be to get one more quantum core, but that is an issue probably for another day since no one is in here to help me out with that. But we will get by, we will find our own little adventures. So, let's get in there. Let's see what all we can see today. Alright, first and foremost, let's make sure that the base is powered and that it does what it needs to do. Alright, look at that ammunition. Okay. Okay. That's a whole bunch of ammo. Which is good, because we are always missing ammo. Um, Galendian, where are you at? Constructor out, and Galendian ammo controller. Alright. out of space on the ammo front apparently something weighs a lot maybe a couple of these mis missiles out okay this actually looks good Yes, oxygen is a bit low. Apparently there is no oxygen in here. So, we take from here. How are we on the pentaxid front? Huh, not bad. Let's pick up some more. Where did I put all that? Alright. Alright. Okay. Okie dokie. Go. 
Oh, look, I have some more crew here. Worry. Okay, let's go grab some water and we will be off soon. I hope that Shepster gets in. Okay. Okay, let's see if my friend Shepster is going to join us for an adventure today. Let's give him a few minutes to see what, what he's up to.
Alright, so Shepster's not gonna be joining us for the adventure today. But he's gonna be on Discord in a minute or two. Okay, let's get ready to head out then. We did the chores, the inventory management is done, the constructor's working, and everything else is okay. Alright, let's go out then. Oops. Alright, let's turn this puppy on and let's make a space and then go here and tell puppies to follow uh, well hmm. not sure how to configure that yet but we will find out we will find out Let's not do the turrets, let's just have the radar on. What? Radar. Oh, I bet you I didn't. Yep. There we go. Messed around a bit with it, but we are back in business, people. Okay. Let's get off this rock again. Where to? What haven't we discovered around us yet? Let's see, what do you offer? Is this drone space? Mining site easy, okay, but that's not drone color, is it? We'd like to find one of these in drone colors. Ok, 
Okay, volcanic, sandy barren, lava. This is all nice and good. Trading station. Sons. It's right on the edge of Xerox territory, isn't it? Let's check the Imperiopedia a little bit. Weapons and devices, getting started, resources, galaxy and planets, planets and sectors. Hmm. There's nothing about factions in here. Trade commodities. Mm, nutrition. Sporting. CPU management. Trade federation. Asteroid fields. Good morning, sir. Okay. G-type star. Asteroid field. Is that drone color? Oh, plane was here. Okay, let's go here. Let's see. I bet you I'm not gonna be able to jump that in one go. 
it's 80 something light years away. Oh, I can. Nice. All right. Let's see. It's Polaris. Nah, man. Knew it was too good to be true. Anything interesting around here? Ice moon, ice planet, volcanic moon, crystalline moon, barren, methane, methane, elder barren. There's not much to go on. <laughs> Let's just give it a whirl and see what what things await us around here? Very hard. Oh, wrong button. Do I want to do that workstation? I remember that being quite cumbersome. Well, haven't done it in a while, so let's see. Ooh, steel hammer bounty. Now, that I have not done as far as I remember. Alright. That looks good enough. So you can't hear when I jump in anymore, huh? Morning. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been able to hear anybody jumping in uh, huh. lately. Change something, huh? Mm, I believe that was a standard setting somehow. Oh. It's it's Discord. It. I I don't know. I swear to God, Discord like messes with you so that you'll engage with it or something. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. Might. Every now and again it seems like Discord breaks and I have to figure out what went wrong. <laughs> yeah, it can happen. How are you doing, bud? I'm doing alright. I just gotta fold laundry real quick. It's all good. Stuff has yeah, to be Yeah, so today... Done. I mean, you're streaming, so I don't know if you want me to gripe about how my day went, but... <laughs> uh, but if you want to hear it, it is pretty funny. 
Of course, man. Of course. <laughs> okay, so I my water started tasting funny uh, earlier this week, and since I moved in, it's kind of smelled funny. And mm -hmm. I looked it up, and s supposedly it was most likely the water heater element mm -hmm. uh, was probably getting eroded. So I thought, all right, I'll watch some videos and I'll replace it at some point. Well, this week it like started tasting really bad i'm like oh boy it's time because it seemed like it was fine for a while mm -hmm. it seemed like it was gassed and uh like because the the previous owner didn't even live here for like four months or, or something oh man so i thought uh it's probably just you know from sitting you know water just sitting in there and not mm -hmm. um not cycling through anyway uh so it was good for a while and then all of a sudden yeah this week it just started tasting really bad and i'm like all right it's time to do something and i also i mowed my lawn last week which it, my my yard is all weeds right now it's not even grass <laughs> so but i i mowed it to try to like make it look less awful and i found the hard way i found a nest of bees uh, oh yeah you mentioned something the other day <laughs> You got stung by three bees or something. Yeah, like all at the same time. Well, so my plan all week was this weekend I was going to change out my, my my elements on my water heater. And I was going to kill some bees and, you know, try to do some, some stuff around the house. So yesterday was when I was going to do it. And then just didn't work out that way. Uh, so I was like, all right, I'll do it on Sunday. So I got up this morning, went to the hardware store. I uh, figured out what element... I needed I needed two of them because you got to get the right one you know mm -hmm. so I figured that out I went down to the hardware store I got that and I got a couple other things and uh, there's some other stuff I wanted but I was like you know what I, I don't need to spend the money right now so there's like some stuff that it was like yeah I'll just wait till next time mm -hmm. and I got a multimeter to make sure because the water heater uh, is higher voltage than mm -hmm. most stuff so apparently you can hurt yourself if you are not careful so <laughs> I got a multimeter to make sure that everything was off because I still don't know if all of my um, breakers are, are accurate in their labels, mm -hmm. which it seems like they are. So anyway, that worked out. Uh, well, the multimeter, I didn't read that it didn't come with batteries. <laughs> I had to leave the house again to go back, to go down to get batteries. So I went and did that. And then I get back. And I'm like, all right, and I'm all ready. I, I took the, the bee killer. I went out and I sprayed that nest, which was right underneath my deck. Bee so killer. I sprayed that. Yeah, just some raid. And I uh, was paranoid I was going to get mobbed by a bunch of bees, but I think I got them all because they didn't mess with me after that. But was it and... bees or hornets? Because it's a big freaking difference. Oh, they, yeah, no, it wasn't like honeybees. They were definitely, hornets. I think they were hornets. Yeah, uh -huh. they were the big ones. The big, or yellow jackets, maybe yeah, one of those yeah, two. Yeah. Oh, man, those hurt like, yeah. a, like uh, those hurt like hell when they sting you. So it hurt, but it was like, it went away after, I mean, it, it only hurt for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Uh huh. And then the pain was gone already. Um, I got stung by some bees one time that that shit hurt for three days. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I didn't even know that was a thing. So I don't know if they were like, I, I think I got stung three times. We were up on a camping trip uh -huh. and I got stung like three times. And yeah, they it swelled up and it hurt for three days. It was like, yeah, I didn't know the bee stings could hurt that long. Oh, so they, they, must have been... hurt, they hurt longer than the hornets ones because the bee stinger itself is, uh, it has a hook. So when you get oh, stung, yeah. uh, it, it pulls out of the in. bee, so the bee dies. The hornet, on the other hand, it's like a needle. It it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, they can do it repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I, I I killed that bee's nest and everything was good. Then I was like, all right, it's time to hit the water heater, right? <laughs> so I and it's got the upper and then the lower elements. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the lower element, you know, if you're if you have a water tank, um, the lower is going to have more water pressure to it because mm -hmm. all the weight, you know, pushing down. So I bought a garden hose to try to like get the water out of the tank to drain it before I started messing with it, but it wasn't working. Like nothing was draining out. Mm -hmm. I had the valve open. I had 
the uh, the air valve open as well so the air could get in mm-hmm. and it just wouldn't drain so I figure it's probably because the hose isn't like going downhill you know you want if you're draining water it has to be below the the water yeah, well, source right yeah 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 well it uh I guess it wasn't low enough or something because it did not drain like at all or maybe there was just too much was the hose was too big or something uh-huh it did it didn't drain at all and I'm like well I gotta I gotta do it and the videos were um most of the guys were like yeah if you just have a bucket you know some of the water is going to come out but if you have a bucket and you're ready for it you can swap out the element pretty quick mm-hmm. so I thought all right so I'll do that because I don't really have any other option because the water's not draining you know and it's a 50 gallon tank mm-hmm. so I do the top one I pull it out I wrench it off everything's good <laughs> uh, nothing nothing went wrong water came out I had a, a tub ready and you know, it, the water wasn't hot because it had been off for a while, so the water wasn't too hot. It didn't burn me or nothing. Um, and everything went good. I'm like, awesome. Like, all right, this is pretty easy. So I went to take off the lower element. Oh, and in the, uh, the part, part of the funny story of, of, the, of today, uh, when I was trying to drain it and it wasn't draining at all, I went down below the house to see if, because I could hear water moving, mm-hmm. but none of it was coming out of the hose. So I thought, oh, shit, is it leaking now? Like, did I do something wrong already? Mm-hmm. So I went down below the house. And when I peeked down below the deck, there was another bee's nest down there. Oh, but it wasn't like a it wasn't a big one. Mm-hmm. It was a small it was like, I don't know, there's maybe four or five bees on it. But I was far enough away that they didn't realize I was there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But it was real funny because when I when I peeked down there. You know, I looked at that bee's nest for a solid, like, five seconds, and then one of the bees looked. I, I saw him look up at me. And I just was like, hey, you know what? I was just coming to check on you guys. You have a good one. And I walked away. It's like, uh, I will never forget. The bee, like, they were just doing their thing. And then that I just look saw on his him face, look huh? up. <laughs> he looked up at me and was like, what oh, you shit. want? And I'm like, nothing. I don't want nothing. You have a good one. And I walked away. <laughs> so I, I went and got the spray, and I sprayed them too and got them. But yeah, it was yeah. just the way he, like, there was a pause. I swear to God, the bee looked at me and just kind of paused for a second and was like, what? <laughs> nothing? Yeah. You have a good day, sir. I, I, I remember when I was a child, I was at my uh, grandparents' house, and there were a lot of hornets. So uh, a lot of hornets' nests here and there and everywhere. And I made myself a device. I I took a a paint can, an empty paint Uh can, uh, fastened it to a pole. And I was using it to put the newspaper into the can, light it up, Uh and then just engulf the hornet's nest in that flame with the can oh. so that oh like stick the can over the nest yeah exactly oh that's exactly. pretty cool that was my uh, way of dealing with hornet nests <laughs> that sounds pretty effective it is it is it really works and it the results are uncontestable yeah uncontestable that efficiency <laughs> just, yeah just can't beat it I but you're but... defanged apparently. Huh? Uh, I was I was talking to this ship that I'm currently oh. chipping away at. <laughs> Tickling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking for its uh, generators right now. So let's take the turrets off of everything else and focus them on generators. But. Yeah, so I went down. There was no leak. I, you know, I just kind of glanced under the house and there was no leak. So I was like, all right. So I came back up and so I tried to take off. I took off the top element. Everything went good. I didn't get hardly any water anywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, everything went smooth. I got the new element in. Everything was good. I was like, all right. So I went to take off the bottom element and that bastard was rust welded into the ah. tank vd40 so, yeah right well and that was my thought i had some and but i was like you know what just in case i'm gonna look at 
and in the directions it says to try to keep it away from electrical devices because it can start a fire. And I'm like, well, I don't want a bunch of oil <laughs> sitting on the, because the element, that's like where the wires connect to is the top of the element. Mm -hmm. So I thought if there's any oil left, you know, and it starts heating up, it might start a fire. So I thought, ah, I don't want to do that. Uh huh. I don't want to start spraying it down. So I thought, well, I'll take a screwdriver and I'll kind of chip away maybe at the edges. Maybe I can loosen it up just enough. Because if I can rotate it just a little bit, I can break it free, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the wrench, I got like a cheapo kind of uh, wrench where you just like stick a screwdriver through it. Like it's just for water heater elements. Uh huh. And it was starting to slip. So I'm like, oh no. Like, I. If I strip this thing, I might have to buy a whole new water heater. <laughs> so I took the wrench into the garage, and it turns out that the wrench was kind of bending because it's made out of aluminum, I think, and not steel. Mm -hmm. So the wrench was kind of bending. So I took it into the garage. I took a hammer to it, and I started beating it back into place. I was like, oh, yeah, I got it now. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make water, this water element going to be my bitch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I almost stripped it. It's like, well, fuck, what do I do now? And because I have some socket wrenches, but I don't have because those water heater elements are like. In oh, uh, yeah, I read about that trick as well, but it didn't work out for me. I tried it several yeah. times. The ship was still spinning. So I found that if I go out of render distance, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, it just stops. To be honest with you, I don't know if the if the ship is cored or not because it's red anyway. <laughs> but it's not cored. Cored. It has. It's, it still had an exclamation mark a moment ago. Whoa! 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 Don't, don't, uh, I was about to say, don't nudge it. <laughs> uh, send it spinning all over again. I nudged it and it didn't go spinning. Well, don't do it again. No, I'm trying not to. Hey, wait, don't even look at it. <laughs> Funny, huh? Just, don't even just look fly at away. It, just leave it alone. No, I want Come back tomorrow. I I want its goodies. Where you at, ship? <laughs> there you are. I want its goodies. I didn't destroy half of it for nothing. Alright, where's your core? Oh, core! Don't even recognize anything of this ship. I'm not sure if there is anything where it left. Well, a few thrusters here and there. And this is a dead end. Is that a dead end? Eh. There's so a did hole. you move everything off of that planet we were on? No, not yet. Not uh, yet, okay. Not yet, because that you... system that I found was already occupied by another faction. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I didn't, uh... Didn't Still looking for a home, then? <laughs> yeah. I was looking at a system a little bit earlier that, uh... Might have had... What we needed. But it looked like it had more moons than planets. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the cockpit? Really? So... Where to look for the freaking core on this one? This looks very, very... Alright, let's get inside somehow. Somehow, how? Where's the freaking entrance to this? So, Joker, how was your stream?
Did you manage to kill off the legacy? Okay. Can I get in this ship, please? Somehow? There has to be a hole that I can crawl through. And I believe that is the, the hole that I can call tr crawl through. Eh, eh, no. Oh, you killed two different legacy ships. Nice. Where is the freaking hole that I can get through? Okay, that's the cockpit. So there should be an entrance. That's the same freaking room that I was at before. Man. Is there really no door on this ship? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello, hole. You're currently hunt hunting for Toveras. Alright, let's get up this elevator. And... Look for... Something that looks like a core, which is yeah, there we go. Got the bounty hunting insignia. Uh, let's see, can we destroy the core with this one? Yes. There we go, and your cord. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's slap a slap a claim core on you and start working. There we go. And start looking for some trusters then. Oh man. I sold I sold off a bunch of trusters the other day and still have a lot. <laughs> Second combat CV. You need a better CV. What? Cannot pick up. Yeah, because I'm not. <sighs> I'm not connected to anything. Come to daddy. Let me have your giblets. For shits and giggles. Yeah, I get that. I get the shits and giggles thing. Okay. Trusters. Why am I lagging like that today? Something seems to be off. Alright, let's just mark things on the device tab. Reinforced cargo container. No core systems, but a bunch of thrusters. So, Shep, when are you joining me again? Uh, I guess when you find a suitable system. Yeah, planet where you want me to start setting up shop I'll, I'll try to anyway <laughs> well we'll see how uh, how that system is gonna look and if we can clear it because I'd rather have a space station than, uh, than a planet, than a planet base. base yeah <clears throat> All right. and build a bunch of auto uh, auto miners on the planets and moons yeah a more nimble ship is always good you get out of trouble faster oh 
Okay. Turrets. There are two more turrets. Oh. Two turrets. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, bud. I'm gonna be here. Okay, and that's... That's all that there is worth salvaging. Okay. Let's do this. There's a small thruster right there. Somewhere. That was one. That's the other one. And then there's this one. Joker, uh, what other ship types can drop quantum cores besides the Doveras? <laughs> well, Tian Long is the other side of, of the Tovera coin, isn't it? I know, I had my share of the experience. Thank God I know people like you. <laughs> I want to add a wee bit shields on this one so that it can take a hit or two so that I can start farming maybe quantums on my own but that's a ways away still I believe for me at least oh hello what do you have for me? no? yes Yes, I know that the aux core is another choice, however I am so freaking far away from drone space right now. I'm, I believe I'm gonna be trying to get into colonist space soon, so that I'm closer to drone space as well. Alright. I believe we are done here. We got, got the bounty token that we actually wanted from this one. And for the aux cores I need a thousand five hundred unlock points to to learn it. Or find someone that already knows how to make them. Oh! Forgot to take my claim core! Go to Martix.
bright and app da app data. Oh, capacity map. You mean in drone space to find the capacity matri matrix and get the data from it or what? R or N type uh, systems, you mean? Okay, so let's check what we got close by. R or N. G. N. Uh, I wonder, can I make that jump? Oh, I'm Ah, 90 light years. Man. Okay, I need to jump a bit closer then. Than this one, apparently. What was that at late? 82 light years. 83 light years. What the heck? My guy is hungry. There's an A, that's a Polaris, that there's a Polaris too, that there's a Pirate, and you said R or N. I know I found a system, there it is, that's a legacy asteroid field. That's a legacy asteroid field.
Hidden Asteroid Legacy. Go find R. Let's see, what's the closest? R. What? That's the closest R that I have? No, there was an R around here, wasn't it? It's deep within trader territory. What's that and why is it out there? Didn't I see an R somewhere close by a moment ago? K, N, another K. G. Apparently that one N is the only one close by. Why did you bring me to a K when I told you to bring me to an R? That's Polaris too. Oh, R. Where are you? Maybe T? T type stars? <laughs> Those are even further away. Okay. Okay. This looks like something we could work with, doesn't it? Box moon. This is very, very far away though. It is very, very far away. And it is out of the way of everything. would like to find a planet close by to the trader territories. Yeah. I would like to have a base somewhere close by 
the trader guild Can I mark this system somehow? Nope, misclicked. Can I put a marker? Uh, I will not be able to put down a marker, will I? No. But at least we know how far we have to go. So let's see. say to All right. show on map okay right click uh, okay gotcha thanks dude oh, so it kicked me out huh who what your uh, your discord kicked me out to sleeping <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you you were uh, away from keyboard for too long. Yeah, apparently. All right, so I got the target system that I want to yeah. visit for drone parts. Yeah, Joker has given me some pointers there. Oh yeah, did he did he cheat again and give you a bunch of stuff? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's no. exactly what a cheater would say. No, no, no. No, he's, <laughs> he's good lad. Now I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> he's good lad. Uh, he said no too many times. Now I'm starting to wonder. Don't wonder too much. Uh-huh. He did give you shit, didn't he? <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. You that... dirty liar. And, and I got proof. <laughs> it's on stream, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what you upload like a week from now. You'll upload today's. Yeah, <laughs> people call him cheater already. Uh... <laughs> no, not him. You. You're cheating because he's given you stuff. No, he's not. He just gave me stuff a while back. That's uh huh. That's history. Yeah, not not <laughs> not just now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's Who are history. you trying to convince, me or you? <laughs> Now, don't be mean. Uh, I'm not being mean. I'm just calling them like I sees them. <laughs> uh, clean your eyeglasses, dude. <laughs> you got this. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's all me. Uh huh. I. It's like. So... This is like psychiatry 101. Yeah. <laughs> Someone gets caught red-handed. They blame somebody else. I don't blame <laughs> no one. Uh huh. Okay, uh, what type of system has lava planets, dead planets, and so on and so forth? Let's see. Okay. Moon's planets. Temperate, desert, snow ice, dead lava. Hot systems. Okay. Wasn't it saying what 
type of stars you should look for. Common and uncommon resources. Give me a second. Oh, K type stars. Okay. K type stars then. Let's see. So we want to go that way and find a K type star. That is not a few hundred light years out. How far are you? Ooh, a bit far. How far are you? You're even further out. I saw a K6 down there. Kulach. Alright, you're in jump range. What? You shown me less. This freaking thing gave me wrong information. <laughs> Probably. How about you? 97. Still too far out. How about you? What the? Seven. Let's get down there and see from there. Where's my jump marker at? Oh, right in front of me. Uh, Pentaxid. Pentaxid. Uh, harvest controller. Night. Let's get jumping. Let's get jumping. You went silent. Yeah, I was letting you think out loud. I didn't want to interrupt. But <laughs> someone said something in... Ouch. In... Build the wall. Are you building the Chinese wall, dude? Okay. Let's see... If Further towards the Chemi Delta or Charlie. Oh, you, you could just join me, help me take down the drones, get the drone parts. Okay. Forth we go. That away. Lock that. Come to think now, 
I'm gonna be uh, jumping back and forth to transfer everything after we find a suitable system. <laughs> Or you just load up the poros and come after with me. Many, many jumps have been made. Okay, more pentaxid. Spend more pentaxid. Okay, we're close to trader space. Lock target. And up we go. Okay, and now let's look for the closest K-type star then. Do I want to have it in trader territory or do I want to have it outside trader territory? That's the question. Search K. 20 belly gamma. Show a map. Uh, it is in trader territory, but do I want to have it in trader territory? <laughs> what do you think, ship? What? Do we want to have our base in trader territory or just outside the trader territory? I have no idea. I'm not. Uh, what is there any? What's the difference? I guess. Good question. They're they're not gonna get mad at you for being in there, right? Uh, being in there, no. They might get mad if I spawn in stuff, though. In there until territory. we get to a certain. Well, I mean that's usually only if you're close to their bases or stuff. I think though, right? Mm, yeah, sounds about right. <clears throat> what? Why do I have the feeling that Joker's gonna be? jumping in behind me somewhere and I just jump scare because <laughs> I he hear a shot again. There is no information. Okay. Well, let's have a look then. To be honest with you, we would be a lot safer in trader territory than outside it. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm gonna just have a look. I'm just gonna have a look. So. What do we have around here? Ooh! Is that... No, that's not Polaris, but it's not... Um... Drone space either. That's a... That's a lava planet, ain't it? It's Trump factions. Oh, you're going political again. <laughs> let's uh, let's refrain from from political talk. It's 
It's not a good topic. Not a good topic at all. Ooh, that looks kooky. That definitely worth a sh screenshot. Yeah. Alright, what do we have? Okay. We have some pentaxid in here. Apparently, what else? Contested by multiple factions. If in neutral territory, hot system, industry, rare ores, bandits, and pirates, civilian, common ores. Okay. Not too many asteroids in here, though. Zascosium, pentaxid, and gold. Okay, that doesn't even sound bad. How big is the gravity? 1.3. Hmm. It's not even bad. And you have the scosium on you. And the orbit has the scosium. Do we have a restroom somewhere? No, not on you. You neither. Neither are you. No. No. Come on, shouldn't a restroom be somewhere in here too? <laughs> You're sleeping again, bud. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, give me a minute. I'm, I'm going to grab a little bit of coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Be right back. All right. All right, I'm back. You were saying? Eight. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, what do you think about this system? We don't have any arrestrum. We do have the scosium, pentaxid. I want to check planetary info. Yeah. Arrestrum. We have some asteroid sites as well. Aluminium that we can auto mine. Although I don't know if aluminium, aluminum, can be. Mm. <laughs> uh, before you say right. something. <laughs> before you say something. I honestly like wasn't even. I didn't even realize until you said it. Different. <laughs> I was like, oh wait. <laughs> See, I'm listening to you when you talk. <laughs> oh. I don't Rarely. always I don't always ignore you. Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> just just most of the time, not always. Some, some time. sometimes, sometimes <laughs> yes, but not always. Uh huh. Zascosium, Prometium, Satium. I I saw titanium somewhere. Although that planet that we're on is good because it has tungsten. And I need tungsten for the Vulcan turret ammo. 
And I believe that the colonist missiles need tungsten too. I'm not sure. This system doesn't look bad, but... But... Let's see, there's another one. Aloria. Okay, this looks even more promising. I want to see planetary info. And I need to be in system. Lock target. And my jump marker is down there somewhere. Gloria. Let's see. Okay. Mars Ascosium. Aluminum. Restroom. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. There's n no planet with more than one pentaxid. Two pentaxid uh, deposits. So the maximum is two on a single celestial body. Let's call it like that. But magnetite might be available. I don't remember what we need magnetite for, but I know we need it sometime. Probably for very specific ammo, I would assume. Something like that. There's a couple of elements that I think are just for selling or trading, too. I don't, yeah, carbon, I don't know if you can mine salt. them, though. Carbon salt are some of those. Yeah. That are like trade, uh, trade commodities. There are a couple of other things as well. Well, this system looks actually better than the, the previous one. Ooh, let's look at that hell planet. <coughs> Bet you it's gonna be like seven Gs. Medium pellet tank. Wreckage. Alright. Let's take that Prometheum since it's right in front of me. I'm gonna look it around the system. It looks like we don't have anything. Neither traders nor uh, pirates or anything. But yeah. Let's, let's just look around a bit. Would be nice to have a few trade hubs though. Why are you shooting the pr 
Yo, oh yeah, I know why you're shooting the Prometheum pellet tank. It's because you're set to shoot generators. That's why. Turrets. And... Turrets. Right. Where's that? Prometheum tank. Uh, I'm playing the uh, Rotato, and I forgot. It's been so long since I played, I forgot that there's a wave where enemies spawn that just shoot in random directions. Oh. And it's like when four or five of them spawn on the other side of the level, and they all shoot at the same time, and you're running, and all of a sudden there's five projectiles coming at you. You're like, oh no. So, yeah, panic. Panic ensues. Panic! Panic! Alright, let's grab these. And wasn't there a second container in here? There's the core. There should have been a second container. No? No second container. Mother Tucker, you screwed me over. <coughs> Ooh, that's a nice toxic moon right there. Okay. Let's have a fly by this system to see what awaits. Ooh. That small freaking pellet tank impedes me. Rotato, you say? Yeah, it's a really awesome <laughs> game. Damn it. Oh god, I hate those enemies. <laughs> Usually enemies aim at you, you know? Mm -hmm. Those things literally just shoot in random directions. And so you're trying to dodge enemies from hitting you and then <coughs> run into the bullets. And it's like, yeah, I needed that. That, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Do, don't I know that feeling? <laughs> like carrier way wreck well that could have some interesting things on it there we go just fly a little bit through the sector Man, it's 9 a.m. already. How long have I been ah. in here? Almost two hours. What the? When did time pass like that? Uh, just a couple minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> It it, oh. it was 8 a.m. two minutes ago. <laughs> Satyam Asteroid. Any other signatures that I have want to oh, have a look oh, at? Boy. There's the wreck. There's another signature down there. And another down there on it. Let's go towards those. Yeah! A 
we're so close to the affiliate status, I can smell it. So close. <laughs> So have you played 7 Days to Die or you were just uh, watching the Alpha 21 release? I have it and I played it for a few minutes because it looked like a lot of fun and then I realized that it just wasn't quite for me. Um, I really enjoy watching people play it though. Yeah. It is a really cool game. Uh, maybe I watched a little bit too much of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of where I'm at too. If I was to start playing, I don't know. It just, it was like, I don't know. The learning curve just wasn't for me, I guess. But the mods and stuff looked pretty cool for it. <coughs> it had nothing to do with the game. I just, I typically don't like survival games. I just like Imperion because spaceships and all that. You know? Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Oh. <gasps> Uh, oh, that's what I needed. There's gonna be a new release. Starfield, if I remember correctly? The name <laughs> of the game? Uh, yeah, Starfield. Apparently it's gonna be released this year. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. It looks, looks like another space sim, like st uh, Star Citizen. Kind of it's game. supposed to be it's it's Bethesda. It's supposed to be Skyrim in space. That's what it is. Oh, but whether okay. that's what it really is or not, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, Skyrim in space sounds interesting. It does, but it's Bethesda, so <laughs> it's highly likely that that's not what it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> um, another scam uh it, it, it's possible well nowadays nothing uh, is impossible the last game that they made was fallout 70 shit i mean fallout 76 my bad oh, oh. i don't i don't know why i said that i know i know <laughs> <laughs> i think that was the last game they made no clue. I don't even know anymore. I don't really care. I don't trust them. Although Microsoft owns them now, so maybe things change a, a little bit. Yeah. Oh god damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't die. Don't die. No fuck. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh, doing so good. No, no. Have I asked you? Asked you? Have you played Valheim? Uh, you have asked me, and no, I haven't. Hmm. I was thinking about getting back into it. A little bit. Although... I'll watch. For now, <laughs> for now I, I'm actually quite pleased with uh, with Imperion. It makes, makes a lot of fun. Oh, you're getting raided. <laughs> oh, two my man welcome welcome everyone thank you very much for the raid how was your stream bud ice wolfen thank you very much for the follow man thank you very very much ice wolfen two people nice nice Saw you. I have to change the sound for the follow. Alright, just give it a moment so it ends. <laughs> this is way too long. Airport POI. Okay, can you please stop? 
thank you. See, even even electronics know when they're asked asked politely. <laughs> Airport POI. Which planets can you can you find that on? I haven't even seen that. I'm gonna have to to check it out. I'm gonna have to check it out. Now that you can hear me. Ice Wolfen, thank you very much for the follow, my man. You brought me one step closer to my goals. No, I'm not playing playing on the Anvil server. I'm on uh, on the Broken Eden server, on Spanjis server. But I'm gonna check uh, I'm gonna check your POI out later today when I'm when I got a little bit of time. Oh, it's it's a specific Anvil POI. Okay. Well, no issues. I'm gonna find a video, maybe even Stu's video somewhere. Dude, this system looks quite safe for us, to be honest. No. Oh yeah. Oh, Stu, since you're here, do you have any idea if I spawn in um base in trader territory? Actually, are we even in trader territory or are we just barely outside of it? No, I believe we're barely inside of it. Yeah. If I spawn something in trader territory, will will my reputation diminish? It's, mm, I believe, neutral. Let's check. Uh, not this one, this one. Uh, Trader Guild. Neutral. F almost friendly. Almost friendly. But is that a rule in space as well? <laughs> You're a wrecked. No, I, uh, let's see. Does it say anything? Uh, Neutral, friendly, and honor. Yes, attacking, mem killing members, destroying a block, opening a container. Uh, it doesn't say anything about space, though. Yeah, that's how that's how I remember things. Ah, I I believe I found our new home. We have we have a hell planet, we have a crystalline moon, toxic moon, barren moon, crusted lava. Huh. Midnight I hate midnight planets. I hate Midnight Planet so freaking much. It has platinum on it. Might have even might even have silver. Crystalline, barren. Temperate, okay. That might have some tungsten on it. Shep? What? <laughs> Do you want to load up the poros with uh, with stuff and come over? I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? I can't fly two CVs at once. 
Why not? Because it doesn't you dock, let you, me. You can dock one to the other. <laughs> I have to come back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. That'd be so nice. You already put me enough up to enough busy work, all right? Well, you did only a quarter of it. A quarter of it? I, <laughs> I built two landing pads. I built, I, I put the constructors in there. I gave you all those boxes, cargo boxes, so that you could store all your crap that you get. Thanks, Later, Stu. Have a good one, man. See you next time. Okay. Ice Wolfen, man, you brought me one step closer to my goal. Now I only need three more follows. Three more follows and a little bit of viewership to get affiliate status. So you almost rolled me into in through the door. Yeah, Watch, yeah, yeah. He's going to unfollow now. <laughs> <laughs> and six uh, other people. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait until you have... What is it? 50 total? It's 100. <laughs> oh, you need 100 followers to get? If you ask me, yes. I thought it... Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was only 50. But all right. I see how... Uh... <laughs> no, if you ask me, I need 100. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll, I'll wait till you have 49 and then I'll unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's why I always say if you have friends like you, you don't need enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there well, you go. No, because you're going to hear uh, nothing else but that freaking track that it has, which I have definitely to change. <laughs> <laughs> it's too loud and too long. Freaking now that's a that's a nice screenshot right there. Do that. Nice. Oh, and there's a comet too. Let me just take your nose out of it. <laughs> nice. See, only this two screenshots made it worth coming here. Of course I'm trying to be famous, man. Who doesn't want to be famous? I don't. <laughs> You're already famous through the streams. I, I'm I'm only famous in a sense that streamers know who I am, because all I do is shit post on their channels <laughs> while they're streaming. <laughs> That's my fame. Uh... Except Ice Wolf, and I think I'm usually pretty nice to him. <laughs> well... I can't say anything <laughs> bad about you either. Ice Wolfen doesn't stream enough, or at least at the times that I'm awake anyway, for me to mess with him. <laughs> you should count yourself lucky, Ice Wolf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do tactical streaming? What does tactical streaming mean? He he avoids people like me who just <laughs> he knows. He's been around long enough. He just knows. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let me just. Uh... Can I share that with you? Can I share the markers? No? You're not allowing me to share the marker? Why aren't you allowing me to share the marker? Because I'm not right next to the sun, I bet you. 
<laughs> well, Shepster's messing around with everybody, so that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> of type and everything, no? <laughs> I'm, I'm that guy. You're that guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, so you don't want to come here with the portals then? Hell no. Let's work. <laughs> Well, just look at it as a trip. And not a bad trip. But it is a bad trip, because it's work. <laughs> uh, you don't want a trip. Uh, I was thinking about teleporter, but I'm far away. I'm, I'm not sure how far am I, but I am far from home. I am far away from home. Huh. And Shepster, my main man in the faction, doesn't want to help me out. <laughs> help you out. Fucking busy work. Bunch mm, of nonsense. Busy. Busy bee. Build the base. Make storage for all of my crap. Our do this, do that. Give me a farm. Our crap. Our fly, farm. Fly, fly my <laughs> ship over here that I'm probably gonna break at some point. It's all gonna be. Yeah. See, Joker knows you. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, that you're lazy, and I agree with him. <laughs> I am. I am lazy. <laughs> uh, who's lazy? I'm lazy. Dude, I flew all the way here to find this freaking system. Alright. Since everybody's against me, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> you guys are some friends. <laughs> I I just play creative, man, alright? I don't know how oh 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 Man, I crisscross jumped the whole half the universe. <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough Pentaxa to get home. Alright. Let's, let's jump all the way back home. Where's my marker at? Up there. I'm gonna come home, drop everything that I can drop into the factory. So that I don't have to carry all that weight around. And we're almost home. Mm, where's the diggity at? There's the diggity marker. Alright, so the goal for the next stream will be to harvest enough materials to spawn in the Parhelion station. The what? The Parhelion station. Anti's Parhelion station. Oh, you've already got a space station picked out, huh? Yeah, um, picked out. We used it with Savage last time when we played, so I know it outside and inside. Oh, okay. And I'm somewhat a creature of habit, like someone that I know. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I know it makes sense for you. <laughs> I do have some other space stations that we could have a look at. I believe I... The most that I need will be carbon substrate for the Parhelion station. I believe it needs quite a bunch of carbon substrate, like 60k or something absurd like that.
I'm really gonna have a look at that uh, airport POI that Stu mentioned. You made me curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, the Anvil server has like its own faction and everything in there, so that it might be part of that. The blade blades or something like that. I, mm -hmm. I don't remember. I'm gonna miss our small island. <laughs> uh, where you had to land your ships in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still I still don't get it why the why the ships don't uh, connect to the landing pads. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Because the thrusters would like idle down like it was landing, but there was no sound, and it also didn't. Can they only connect to CVs or something like? Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Alright, let's power down this puppy for now. Alright, I'm really gonna be needing to look into quantums and aux cores really soon after we have settled Ooh. the other system. Alright, let's see. It's gonna be down there somewhere. Oros Parhelion Station, there we go. At the factory. Okay. This is actually easier done than expected. If I take the crew of the ship, I even have the crew. Crush Stone 80. Okay. Alright, alright, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's see. I know I have a bunch of carbon substrate somewhere. Are you kidding me? Ah, no, you're not kidding me. Alright. Carbon substrate is done. Silicon 400. Uh, crest stone. Uh, silicon. Titanium, 1,300. Do I even have? I should. Okay. Uh, plant fibers. Wooden planks. Okay. That might be the the toughest thing to get right now. 
240 arrest trap. Let's take half of that as well. Oh, you don't need it. Okay. Uh, stone dust. Elemental pentaxid. Crushed stone. Large optronic bridges and matrices. Okay. Large optronic bridges. Here, get back in there. Not sure I need those many. And let's see. No, you don't need that. How come? Large bridges. Oh, I need only bridges, okay. Plant fibers and wood. Uh, wooden planks. Got that. Plant fibers where we needed. Oh. Okay, let's tell you to make some plant fibers. Make a hundred stack of a hundred and some wooden planks and stone dust. Don't tell me you don't have stone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> mm. Have never played on a different server than this one, so... No clue what the d difference between Anvil and Broken Eden is. Besides the fact that Broken Eden says it all. Uh, F2. I need some elemental pentaxid. Uh, 124. Okay. There you go. Crush stone. Oh, okay. There's a limit on quantum cores otherwise. Yeah. I believe I heard that with half an ear sometime, but didn't pay attention too much. Uh, Reforged Eden, uh, they added a 10 limit on quantum cores. Oh, gotcha. So. <clears throat> okay. I guess so. for Broken Eden, they must have left it as unlimited. Stone Dust? No, 100. And I needed some crushed stone as well, right? Where's the... What? Wait. Wooden plank, stone dust. Plant fibers. And then the crew. And that's about it. Oh, I need 80 crushed stone. We had a lot of custom content and the block limit. Oh, okay. Um, Crestone 80. Crestone 80. Okay, plant fibers, wooden planks, and stone dust, and then the crew. I believe I saw some crew somewhere close by, cargo container. Yeah, four and four, but I believe I need more. F2, crew, alien crew, I only need three. One, two, three. Human, I need eight. Right, 
I, f I, 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 I saw something about that, and I was curious to... to look at that advanced core. I bet you I don't have it unlocked. Core. No. So F3. Will it be here somewhere? Auxiliary core, no, that's that's different. Will it be in system upgrades? No. It is not. Miscellaneous maybe? and schematics no so we don't have an advanced core I'm looking for nothing yeah Ah, it's it's only two missions. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, what else? Uh, are we getting plant fibers at all? Yes, we are. What are you working on? What? Why aren't you working? Man, we Because you don't so pay me enough. Not you, dude. Oh. Uh, we have so much stuff. I'm just used to you yelling at me, so I assumed it was me. I never yell at you. Why? <laughs> uh, now I know why it's not working. Because <laughs> you don't pay it enough? Uh, well, maybe pressing the power on <laughs> button helps. That, yeah, yeah typically. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this stuff done. <laughs> I know what you I know what you mean. Yeah, well, not everybody realizes good content, Joker. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, by the way, guys, I might have some more free time on my hands in two weeks. And I was thinking about starting a vanilla playthrough of Empyrean. Single player. What do you think? Would, be, would that be interesting? Of course. Maybe uh, follow through with this one, although this is not a story, this is just gameplay. Well, and it seems like you're able to play a little bit every day. You could switch back and forth. Yeah, and in two weeks I might be able to play all day. 
that, that's why I'm, that's why I'm pushing to reach affiliate status as soon as possible. Ah, I see. Well, and that uh, update might be out too, right? About uh, hopefully next week, I think. So maybe it'll even be a little bit. Yeah, Ice Wolf. I believe I would enjoy that playthrough, uh, since I've never did a proper proper uh, playthrough of Imperion. At least not on stream. At least not on stream. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. Although after that I heard something about October. For Reforged Eden 2.0. Not sure now what the status is. Used to reforge Eden. Well, that's that's a broad aspect. <laughs> if you notice, I'm still stumbling through the game. I'm still a noob in here. I do I I do know what the terms mean, but <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I think I will enjoy vanilla. Although I'm gonna miss having Shepster around to build the base and stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> the truth comes out. I didn't die that time, all right. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I agree. Well, for now, I think that the best would be to just start a vanilla playthrough, let's see how it does. And like you said, you, I can run through the content on vanilla in like two weeks. I'll be right back. All right. And maybe after, I, I did the content in vanilla, come back to Reforged Eden, and maybe start a playthrough. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. As said, I, I have a feeling that in two weeks I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands than I have right now. But we'll see what happens. Alright, uh, are we done? With no, we're not almost. It all depends on what story you base the playthrough on. Okay. You mean like what story you start with? Isn't that a standard story? Like you drop onto just say an aqua and you start doing shit over there and then you get to Omicron and do the story missions there and get to the brewery. I believe the furthest I got in vanilla was the Sigma Fulcrum mission. Four more human crew. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. I got, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I, I get your point. 
Let's see if I have four human crew on the Angavalian. Though I should... I'm on the wrong side of the ship. Uh, actually, I can check from here if I have enough uh, crew. No, I have only two. Do I have any more crew on the Angavalian? Like, no, I don't, do not. And in here? No, here I have only thrusters. In here? No. Oh, I have navigational data. Okay. Forgot about those, apparently. Yeah, I get your point. I get your point. Hmm. So I have to go out and find... But why? Okay, I see. I see more human crew than it was showing. Two, three, and you guys are just chatting around. Now, did this bring me over CPU? No, it has not. Perfect. Perfect. There we go, and the Parhelion is set up. Now I just have to find enough space to put the other resources. Nice. Very, very nice. All right. Uh, F2. Where's the Hades? There it is. Add to factory and start dropping shit. That was the wrong button. I said connect. Okay, let's start dropping in some stuff. ATM for you. Carbon substrate's gonna be. So you want some more cobalt, titanium, plant fibers, cobalt, titanium. Cobalt, titanium, titanium, copper. I believe I have some more copper. It's these here and then in here. I sh apparently I do not. A uh, furnace. Okay, that's not much. Iron, I believe, I still need. Any more copper? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. What's wrong? 
Oh. It's hard, eh? Say it huh? again. It's hard. Yeah. You sounded like you were... In pain? Yeah, yeah always. <laughs> nah, man, come on. Always. Always. Okay. What's that? You go back where you came from. Man, look at all that Zascosium. It is a lot. It is. Well, it's usually just used for making the better turrets and stuff, right? Mm, yeah, um, some weapons, and some ammo. ammo. And so on and so forth. Ooh, okay. That's a quantum core. Oh, you're coming in. Not where you are. Not the where. <laughs> I know better. Just, just admit it. You Unless you have a POI you want to raid, then I'll come in. Well, I told you to come in to adventure earlier when I started the stream. You didn't want to come. No, in. no, you wanted me to come in to build something or no, no. to shine your shoes or to they, clean they... up your <laughs> cargo box or something. Bite me! You le you left this base undone. Like. Everything else. I'm the only one that did anything to it at all. <laughs> I've put down some some uh, cargo extensions. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, and you put them in the wrong place too. <laughs> well, y you've built the frame for them. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh... But the Parhelion station is on its it's done, so it. We only have to spawn it in, maybe make a few jumps to uh, to bring all the materials over, or maybe I ask Plane to help us out with uh, with some cargo space so that we don't have to jump back and forth. And I believe we're gonna move home base somewhere else. Well, somewhere okay. else. I know where. We also know where. Sounds so that's that's the plan for uh, for next stream. But for this one, boys and girls, I'm gonna be logging off because work is starting sooner than I would like it to start. <laughs> but what what can you do? One has to survive somehow, right? Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This will be it for today's stream. I'm gonna leave you with this nice view of our home. Thank you everybody for being here. Ice Wolfen, thank you again for the follow. Everybody else, if you enjoyed this stream, please don't forget to hit that follow button so you can help me a little bit with my goals. If you're interested in how we got here, however, don't hesitate to jump over to my YouTube channel where you can find all our previous adventures in Reforge, Eden and Lost Mia scenario. And if you're over there, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe so that the channel gets noticed better. Thank you everybody in advance for that. But for now, I wish everybody a good morning, good afternoon or good evening. And I hope to see you all soon. Take care, people. Stay frosty. Bye-bye, all. <laughs>